If you've heard that sound, you know you're in the wrong place. It's the sound that brings fear to the hearts of evildoers everywhere. And the Remington 870 doesn't need much introduction because that sound says it all. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we're back here at the Mystery Range, and we're really having a great time here at our new shooting facility. Uh, we'd like to thank all of our uh, subscribers for helping us get good traction and for keeping the wheels turning. And if you haven't done it already, be sure to hit that like, hit the share, and most of all, hit that subscribe. Become part of the community. Anyway, today we're talking a little bit about the Remington 870, and the 870 is a classic. Um, believe it or not, it actually has some of its earliest beginnings with John Browning, who in 1915 invented the model 1917 shotgun. It has some great features that eventually become part of the Remington Model 31. The Model 31 was not a big seller. It had to go up against the Winchester Model 12, which dominated the pump action shotgun market. But in 1950, Remington came out with a brand new model, the 870, which was a streamlined version. It was, it was robust, it was less expensive, and it basically turned the shotgun world on its ear. And it's become pretty much the go-to. As of 2009, over 10 million 870s have been sold in lots of different combinations. Whether it's a 12, a 20, a 16, a 28, or even a 410 gauge. This one here in particular happens to be a 20 gauge. Now, I really like the 20 gauge as a defense gun for the sole reason that everybody in the family can handle it. A 20 is not gonna leave you bruised. It's going to give you a really good payload. Um, it's gonna take care of business and um, it's not gonna make you deaf if you happen to fire it inside. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the features. Um, one of the things that I've added to it is the Hogue overmolded grip. It gives a nice, soft, um, slip-free grip so that it's, it's durable. Now, one of the things we also put on it, and this is what's called a Wilson Ghost Ring rear sight. And what you do, just like with a handgun sight, you look through, you focus on the front sight, the rear sight's gonna get a little bit fuzzy, but what you see on the front sight is what you get. Now, since we talked about the front sight, this front sight is from a company called High Viz, and this basically is magnetic, and it basically just goes on top of the rib and slips right up to the front. Um, aside from that, basically just an inexpensive pouch. We can run some extra, uh, extra rounds in here if you want to keep them on the gun. Uh, beyond that, the, the Remington comes with a, with a safety right here, pushes back and forth. That's it. Generally, if the safety is on this side of the gun, it is safe. You push it in the other direction and the safety is off. You also have this small switch right here. This switch here is basically what you're going to do to open the gun so you can prime it the first time. That's important. Now, the nice thing about the 870 is that when it comes from the factory, it comes with a five plus one, I'm sorry, a four plus one magazine. You can put four in the tube underneath plus one in the magazine. One of the things we've added is an extended uh, tube magazine, which gets us an extra two, two more rounds from a company called Choate Manufacturing. And they make these for lots of different guns. Now, to load it, Basically what you're gonna do is it loads from underneath. You're gonna push down and forward. Push down and forward. Also worth noting is that most shotgun shells are color-coded. Red is usually reserved for 12 gauge, and if you see a yellow, that means it's reserved for 20. And that's an easy way of not mixing them up. Okay, there's six. 
All right, now we're hot. We have one in the tube. Let's make some noise. Enough said. That was fun, a little premature, but that was fun. So anyway, we'd like to thank you all for joining us and stay tuned for our next segment, Shooter Shout Out. Yeah. All right, we're back. And our first shout out goes to DRD TRD, who really enjoyed the Springfield Armory XD40 Shooter Review. And he says, love this. I had no idea I could shoot nine millimeter with just a barrel and a mag swap. Sweet. I love variety. Appreciate this video. Hey, DRD, TRD, thank you. We appreciate your comment. And one of the beauties of the XD is it's a platform. There's so many different things that you can do with it. And having a multi-caliber firearm is just one of them. So thank you very much. Send us some more comments. Maybe we'll see you again real soon. We'd also like to thank Bill Strack. Bill wrote over the uh, Mossberg SA-20 defense shotgun video that we did. And Bill says, great video, thank you. I know a lot of guys that make the claim that only a 12 gauge is enough. I noticed that none of them will let me shoot them with my 20 gauge and number three buck though. Ha! I've used a 20 for years hunting and I have downed just as much game as my friends in their 12s Again, thanks for one of the best 20 gauge defense videos out there. Well, Bill, we can't agree more. And all I can say is, yeah, what you said. I don't want to stand in front of a 20, and none of my friends are willing to do that either. So anyway, we'd like to thank all your comments. We want to thank your participation. We want to thank you for coming along on this journey with us. And what we'd like you to do is like, share, and subscribe to our videos so that you can become part of the action as well. On behalf of the staff and the crew of Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.